Hello mate and welcome to this audio video thing. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a subject known as coupling. Before you all start tuning out, this is not a reference to some swinging habit that is pursued by middle-aged CEOs and librarians. Coupling actually refers to how classes interact with each other. I know that a number of people who watch this channel are still struggling with the concept of object-oriented programming. But this concept doesn't necessarily require you to understand the intricacies of object-oriented programming and we might even help you with a penny drop moment on this as we talk about it. What makes classes great is that they allow us to compartmentalize our code. Think of a class as a mini app that is designed to accomplish a singular task. Most of the things that we want to achieve are made up of multiple smaller tasks. And we talked about abstraction in a previous video. But just to recap, abstraction is the practice of taking a problem and breaking it down into smaller problems and repeating that process until you basically have pseudocode. Using abstraction, it's typically easy to see how we can create a class to perform a single task and how it would interact with other classes which perform their own individual tasks. And then they can work together to achieve the final aim. One of the major drawbacks of using classes in your implementation is that if you do not design your code properly, classes begin to rely too much on how other classes achieve their task rather than just focusing on the output of those classes. In other words, your interfaces should not be affected by your implementation. The interface of a class is what the output is, i.e. if you have a class that contains a list of things, the interface is your ability to access that list of things. You're not interested in how this class goes about creating that list of things, and nor should you be. What the results in is now being able to carry out maintenance on a single class, but ending up having to carry out maintenance on every other class as well, which can be incredibly time consuming and unnecessarily expensive. When you're planning your code, you should be able to factor in the time it will take to adjust that code and minimize the impact of adjusting one class will have on the remainder of the program overall. In other words, when you write your code, your classes should not rely on how the other classes do things in order to do what they do. This is where coupling is so important, or rather, making sure that coupling is not a thing in your code. Coupling is a reference to how closely tied your classes are, and in this case, being loosely coupled or not coupled at all is a much, much better thing. These are some of the things that we have to take into account when we're designing our code, and when we're writing it. And so when we add a whole bunch of new stuff to our program or to our code, we don't necessarily have to worry too much about how it's going to impact the other things because everything is compartmentalized into their own classes and their own functions and their own methods. So thanks very much for listening to this, guys. It was very short and uh, hopefully informative for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.